Welcome to SA Boxing Talk Under Wraps and first and foremost, let's introduce who we're going to be talking about today, Christian Mbili. Okay, let's get straight into it. He was born on the 26th of April 1995, French Cameroonian. He was born in Cameroon at the age of seven. He moved to France, therefore he's actually a French national. He competed in the 2016 Olympic Games, unfortunately was eliminated in the third round, but you know, just making it to the Olympics itself is an achievement. So he's a middleweight. He's got serious, serious power, man. This guy, 13 wins, 13 knockouts. Obviously, he hasn't tasted a defeat uh, since he's making it on this list. So, yeah, man, you can imagine how, how good this guy is. He's fought half of his career in Canada and half of his career in France. So he's got a variety. He's mixed it up with some different types of boxes, which will bode well for his future. And interesting lo- interestingly enough, sorry... <laughs> Um, his first four fights were against Mexican boxers, boxers. So you, when you talk about variety, you're talking about his career so far. And he said recently on his Instagram that he's got some big fights coming up. So, um, well, a big fight coming up. So we're very excited to see that. Uh, Christian's a member of the Yvonne Michel group. They promote his career. Uh, he's obviously based in Montreal, Canada. So that explains the reason why he's been boxing in Canada a few times. And of course, he's been trained by Mark Ramsey, a, a credible trainer. So interestingly enough about Christian, and you know, like we got to talk about some, some things about what you know, what makes him unique, what makes him special. And so far, you you're gonna pick up on the fact that he's an Olympian. He's knocked people out. So he just does it for fun. And um, but interestingly enough about him, he actually used to be a mem- a member of the the French army, which is a surprising thing, uh, considering that you know he's here today boxing with us, which is great. So. As I said before, he arrived from the Cameroon uh, from the Cameroon to France at age seven. So let's list some of his accomplishments. Okay, he's a European Junior Championship. These are all gold medals that I'm reading out, by the way. Uh, European Union champion, and of course, he's a European Olympic qualifier champion. So this guy is a he was a credible amateur. He's now a credible pro, and he's got a long way to go because. He's going to have a lot of eyes on him in the, in, in the not-too-distant future. He already does have eyes on him, but he's going to have even more eyes once he hits that world scale, once he hits the USA, starts to fight on some of those big bills, ones that Yvonne Michel can organize for him down the line. So, let's get into his attributes now. He is only 174 centimeters. That is sitting at a 5 foot 8. Um, he's short compared to a typical middleweight. So, if you put him in the ring with a Daniel Jacobs... He's quite short compared to him, but if you put him in with Canelo, he's around about Canelo's size. In fact, he might even be more bulky than Canelo. So, typically shorter than a normal middleweight, but you know what? There's a lot of middleweights that do, um, that are shorter now, and uh, like Canelo and like Golovkin. So yeah, he's got a he's got a good middleweight build, just not as tall as a a, a usual middleweight, let's say. Um, Christian currently holds uh, the WBC Youth World middleweight championship so he's already got that credibility behind him in the professional ranks and you're gonna ask me so how did christian get into boxing what's his story because he was in the army you know he came to france at an early age he competed like how did he get into the into the boxing industry and like most people they watched videos of old boxes and they kind of picked up on that and they thought you know what i want to be like that person so as you can imagine with 13 wins 13 knockouts the guy he used to watch was Mike Tyson, and Mike Tyson used to lay waste to opponents, so you can imagine why he liked Mike Tyson. So anyway, keep an eye out for this guy in the not too distant future, he's gonna do some special things. Christian and Billy, that is a wrap from SA Boxing Talk under wraps, and I hope everyone's gonna start following his career. His Instagram handle will be displayed in the video, so keep watching, go follow the guy, and yep, have a good one. Bye.